story. I was born in Dallas. Uh, parents were missionaries overseas in Africa, so we lived in Africa for about five years. They were there for ten. Moved to San Jose, and uh, then we were supposed to be here for three weeks, and that turned into California for three weeks, and that turned into uh, almost 30 years now. Uh, relocated to Fresno um, in, I think, 89 and or 90. And then eventually moved up to uh, Toll House out by Humphrey Station. Okay. Uh, and went to school at Sierra High. So Sierra Elementary, Foothill Elementary, Sierra High. So over the last year, you would say you've come to Fresno State more often? Yeah, I've only come two or three times. Okay. Um, I haven't done, you know, every time I come, it tends to be... Stressful? A bit, yeah, a bit of a, a <laughs> firestorm. I'm, it's controversial, you know, it's, and it shouldn't yeah. be. Like, that's my whole thing, is it shouldn't be. We should be able to dialogue. You shouldn't, mm -hmm. I should be able to come here with any opinion. I mean, I, I stand against white supremacists and KKK and all these idiots, but they have the right to their nonsense speech. Mm -hmm. You know, these, you see these guys across the country, they have the right to be idiots mm -hmm. um, and speak that and, and not have threats of violence. As long as they're not being violent, they should. I stand as much against them as I stand against brown power and black power and you see that with like the Raza and the Black uh, Lives Matter movement. You see all of this division in our country and based on race or political affiliation and, I'm, and I got sick of it and I said you know what this is uh, and, and the corruption on the left I mean with Hillary like I was watching the campaigns I, was, I wasn't a Trump guy to begin with. Mm -hmm. I was uh, Ted Cruz or Ben Carson's mm -hmm. um, but when I saw the, the, the option between the Clintons, another another Clinton, and the corruption uh, with their foundation and everything that they do, uh, there was it was just a no-brainer for me. Mm -hmm. After about 45 minutes into the uh, what was going on, it had already gotten violent. There were already uh, M80s going off, and so I, I went and started interacting with people. Mm -hmm. um, at one point, I was having a good conversation with about three of them um, that were on the left that you know, disagreed, but we could have a conversation. And then at one point, uh, a guy stole my hat. Um, and went running into the crowd, not this one, I never got it back. Mm -hmm. My original one. So um, we're gonna run into the crowd of Antifa. Mm -hmm. And I had the decision to make. It was kind of like and I, like the, the fork in the road, which one do you take? You know, mm -hmm. just let it go and let the little punk get away with it? Or do I go in there? And so I chose to go in mm -hmm. um, and I immediately started getting pushed. People trying to block me, like, you know, they were out in the street next to Martin, uh, MLK Park. Mm -hmm. And um, I just said, you know, uh, there's push me, and, and I said, just give me my hat back. Mm -hmm. And right about that time, a guy punched me in the mouth and split my uh, my lip, bottom lip open. So I'm holding this sign that says, uh, "Stop liberal intolerance," which was perfect for the day. And then support Trump on this side. Um, and and so I, I turn around to our group. So I'm about 30 feet away, probably 20 or 30 feet away from the group of Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, this is what liberal tolerance gets you. And my mouth was bleeding at the time. Mm -hmm. And as I turned around, another guy uh, hit me with a stick, broke a stick over my ear uh, and busted, wow. split my ear open. And I don't know if it cracked my skull. I never got the x-ray, but I did a little chip over there. Mm -hmm. um, and so my ear started bleeding. And so I walked, I kind of walked towards our group. Uh, it kind of stunned me, you know, and I said, look, this is this is what liberal tolerance is. And so I turned back around, went back to the crowd, and that's, I got, lost my temper a little bit, cussed a few times. And I said, look, this is, you know, this is what I'm standing up against. I should be able to come here, not have my, my property stolen, uh, should be able to have a conversation and not have this happen to me. Mm -hmm. And then a girl grabbed my sign, pulled it down. I was holding this, the flag as well, um, and pulled it down. And uh, as, as she was pulling it down, a guy came over the top and hit me in the head with a, another stick. Um, and that's when, that's when I just, my whole face got bloody. Mm -hmm. And so they, um, and that really, that's where all this blood came from, everything else. And where all the shots that kind of went around the country and were used, you know, what they meant for evil has been used for good.